Welcome to this video where I'm gonna color using different mediums to compare the paper on camera. And I'm gonna compare the paper in Midnatsmaskeraden, the Swedish edition of Hanna Karlsson's latest coloring book, and the Dutch edition Midnacht Maskerade. I did a flip through of both books in my previous video, and I also talked a bit about what I liked and didn't like about the papers. But here I'm gonna color in both books and compare water base pens, Prolichromos, Prismacolor, Neocolor, Ink Tens, and maybe some soft pastels. And see if I can spot any difference between the papers when I'm coloring. And if you can see any difference, maybe it's difficult when you not actually feel it yourself. So I'm going to start with a sweet Swedish book and I'm going to do this frog page, which in the Swedish edition is next to this girl. And I'm going to start with water-based pens and I have two different that are similar in the colors. So I think I can use them together just to show. This is Tombow dual brush pen and this is Stabilo. I'm gonna start with the Stabilo and I'm gonna do this part of the frog, this coat. And what I can feel is that water-based pens work really really well on this paper. At least when you just use them like this and not with a water brush to pull it out. I can actually try that. Oops. If I put on some. Yeah, as you can see, it's actually possible to to do a little bit of this. Put a pull out the the color. Even if the line between the two areas pretty much is very harsh. And it do bleed through. I was going to say it doesn't bleed through, but it did bleed through a little bit where I used where I used water. So it works with just a pen. But you can see a little bit showing through, which I will be able to co cover very easy. But this will maybe look like a spot on her face. <laughs> I don't know. So, okay. I will not use water on the Stabilo pen. And this is the Tombow. As you saw what happened then. And now this is not visible. It's somewhere behind here. So Tombow worked a little bit better. Stabilo went through a little bit more. And especially if you use water. Then the Dutch edition, I'm going to do the same there and see what's happening. It's on its own. It has no girl next to it. Okay, so let's start with the Stabilo. Okay, let's try to use some water in this book as well to see what's happening. If it's also bleeding through which don't matter as much in this book as there is nothing on the back. It's uh, just a white page. Okay, yeah, you can do it in a similar way here. But the line between them is very, very harsh. Let's see. Okay, you can kind of see it through, but not much. It's just a little, little, little spot of the water it will dry and will not be visible after some time so this is a thicky paper that works better with with water it seems to at least when you have a water-based pen like this okay let's try the tombow and let's try to pull it out with water somewhere here no you can't see it so let's move on to polychromos so let's start in the Swedish edition and I will use three different colors first deep red 
and I'm going to try to be really soft holding them like this to make a soft first layer with hopefully no harsh lines as polychromos works really well when you layer soft soft thin layers on top of each other let's go to middle cadmium red So far this is much darker than this side. This is of course a more vivid red as its markers. And then some dark red. So this is not the same red as this. It's far from the same, but I can fix that after. This is just to show how the different mediums work in the book or how I think they work in the book, because we probably have different ways of using the same kind of mediums and how much pressure we use and how we are holding the pencils and things like that. So, so far I'm pressing really, really soft. Not much pressure. I'm going back to the deep red. So I'm not sure if you can see, if we go in, uh, that it's still, you can see a lot of white spots from the paper shining through. But still it works pretty well to layer, I think, on this paper in the Swedish edition. Although the paper is a bit hard. I'm going in with Pale Geranium Lake, a fourth color on top of this, as I thought this was a little bit too dark. I don't know if you can see, this is how it looks right now. So now I'm going to try to blend it together. First I'm going to try with the white polychromos. It worked pretty well and let's see if I can color on top of that. I can. To darken the colors a bit again. And then I'm going to try my blender stick, my Karandach blender stick, which is a wax stick. And I do have to press quite hard with this to make it blend together into the paper so the white spots will disappear. But with a lot of pressure it works. But the paper is kind of hard so I thought it was easier to press down the paper and the colors into the paper with the polychromos white. I could also have used a lighter red but something pretty hard that will press down the paper easier than the blender stick. So let's try polychromos on the, in the Dutch book. This time I'm going to start with Pale Geranium Lake. It doesn't really matter what colors I'm using, I just want to try how they work on the paper, the different mediums. This paper is much softer, so it is easier to get a smooth layer. I'm not sure it's visible, the difference, but you can definitely feel it. But it's easier to get a nice flow over the paper with pencils on this one in the Dutch book. At least for me. I will go in with deep red. So I try to have a very soft hand to make thin, see-through layers. I'm not sure how much you can see of the difference between the papers, but I can definitely feel it. Not as much when I used the water-based markers, 
but definitely now when I'm using polychromos. I'm not sure I would have noticed this when I was a beginner though, but now when I have color for many years using a lot of different papers and a lot of books and different mediums, I can feel the difference. And dark red. Back to pale geranium lake. Okay, now I'm going to try the white polychromos to blend it together. It looks good. And let's see this blender stick. Yeah, it works. I don't have to have as much, much pressure on it than on the other page, but okay, let's see here. I think I had something on it. Something strange happened here, but yeah, I think it works better, the blender stick here, than in the Swedish book, as this is a smoother paper. So this smooth wax blender works well on it. It doesn't need so much pressure to press the color into the paper. So next test will be with Neo Colors, Neo Color 2. And I'm using three different shades, lime green, bright green and grass green. And I'm going to use it on the frog and I'm going to start in the Swedish edition. Bright green. Lime green. And grass green. I will just color over these spots. And then I will use water and I have this water brush I always using Dervent's number one which is the smallest one they have for some reason that works well for me so I'm going to start with the lightest areas then heading into the next color and the darkest and then clean the brush Okay, let's stop like this and no bleed through, a bit bubbles, buckles, but no bleed through and the buckles will hopefully be able to flatten down if I let it dry and then put some heavy books on top of it during the night. Let's go to the Dutch edition. It feels like this would work better in this book as it is a thicker paper. It feels like the risk to make bleed throughs should be less here. Same three colors, bright green, grass green and lime. And see on the back. You can see a little bit buckleness maybe or you can see a hint of that something has happened here but no bleed through and almost no buckles. Let's go back to the Swedish edition and this time I'm gonna try ink tents. I'm gonna use the golden yellow Cleaning the brush and then using the water on it. You 
can't see any bleed through. And I'm sure it will work as good in the Dutch edition. No bleed through, no buckles, but it was such a small area I colored on. Now I'm going to try to do a Prismacolor background behind the frog here with some blues to see how they work on the paper. This is the Swedish edition and I'm going to start with a periwinkle. I have a little bit more pressure than with the polychromos. And then blue slate on top of this. And powder blue. I will go in with some more layers. Periwinkle. Blue slate. And you can see it shows through a lot of the white. I don't think these work as good as the polychromos on this paper, but now I'm going to try to press it down with my powder blue as a blender. And I have to press really hard as the paper is so hard. And then periwinkle again. And now it's almost burnished as I had to press so hard. So it's a little bit hard to get color, more color on top. I have to press really hard with this one as well. Let's see how the blender stick works. I'm just going to clean it on a scrap paper. Okay. If I press really, 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 really hard, it works okay, but you have to press super hard with it to have any effect of it. And after that, I'm sure it's hard to get any more color on top. Yes, it's almost impossible because you have flattened out the paper, so there is nothing that can hold on to any more color. So Prismacolor works less good, I think, in the Swedish edition than Polychromos. Let's see how the Dutch edition works with Prismacolor. Gonna start with Periwinkle again. And I don't have to press as hard on this paper. I can have a much lighter touch to get the color onto the paper. This softer paper. I'm hardly touching the paper where I had some kind of medium pressure on the other one, in the Swedish one. Blue slate, slate blue. Still not much, much pressure. One more layer. Periwinkle. And the blue slate, slate blue. You can see, I don't know if you can see the difference. The white is not showing through as much on this page than on in the Swedish one, but it's not that big 
difference. I'm not sure you can see it on camera. I'm gonna blend it with powder blue. Yeah, I don't need to have so much pressure. It blends together easier on this softer paper. I'm gonna try the blender stick. Yeah, it works better on this paper. I don't have to have as much pressure. And let's see. Oh, that was another totally other color. Uh, periwinkle. This also feels quite waxy now and almost burnished, so it's hard to get more color on here too. So it is a little bit more easy to get color onto this after blending on this paper, but the difference is not super big. But I definitely needed a less, uh, less hard touch in this book. And I'm gonna try soft pastels with a knife. First in the Swedish edition. I have not tried this in the book yet, so I'm gonna put a little bit darker turquoise, lighter turquoise. My plan is to cover this with black acrylics after, so I'm just experimenting here. works good let's see how it erases <laughs> good <laughs> and let's try soft pastels in the Dutch edition It also worked good. And let's see how the erasing. Yeah. So when you use soft pastel, it doesn't matter which book you have. So I must say that when I did like this, I can say that the paper is definitely softer and nicer in the Dutch edition, but I think you can get the same result in the Swedish edition. And I'm not sure everyone will even thinking it's hard that I, I can feel the difference and I prefer the paper in the Dutch edition but I prefer the layout and I want to color in my Swedish edition as I want that to be that as it's closer to my heart and I already have colored a lot of pictures in it. I know some people have really had problems with it. Some people have had problems with blending as the paper paper's tooth is so hard compared to this one. In the Dutch edition it's smoother, it's easier to do blending. So it's you might have to use a little bit more pressure if you use pencils in this book. But you can use something underneath, like water-based pens. Just don't go over it with water that bled through, at least in the sw Swedish one. And uh, Ink Tense works really good, and Neo Color. It gets a little bit, bit more buckly in the Swedish version as the paper is thicker in the Dutch. But if you're careful with the water, it will not bleed through. And Soft Pastels works equally good in both. But I have had another problem, which can happen in a lot of books, but maybe especially in this one, as you have to press really hard if you're using pencils. I have pressed very hard to achieve vivid, smooth colors. And if you are forgetful like me and forget to put a safety page, a white copy paper between the pages, you can get, you can see, can you see the, the glass here on in her face? And the girl on this page, 
So I need to go over this with an eraser and yeah, don't do like me, use a protection sheet behind the page you are doing. So I'm not sure if I have been any help, but I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in next video. Goodbye.